Life Season 2 and back by popular demand, Mutuma Ziva Mawere. How does it feel like to be back by popular demand? It's warm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's, this, this, this is not like uh, the Kenya situation. That's right. It's not a rerun. It's not a rerun. <laughs> it's a continuation it's a, of the dialogue. Of a conversation. Fantastic. Yeah. What response did you get on our platforms? We had uh, quite encouraging remarks and people requesting that we talk to you again. No, very good. I think uh, when you look at ideas, yes, they do matter. Because uh, even all the complex structures that have uh, visited uh, mankind, they come from just an idea. A house is an idea out there. So everything that we see in life is a consequence of somebody's idea. Mm. How do you define uh, uh, success? You, you have a most unusual approach you know, to, uh, to business and to life. In the many, many you know, decades uh, yeah. that you have worked, how do you define success? What is success to you? So in, we have tried to look at the issue of uh, the design of life, because success is only measured where human beings are concerned. So the creator of life had a purpose for what life should be and what was required to live it. So all the stuff that you require to live life, it's already provided. Which means the purpose of life is actually to save life. Are you saying um, we need to do away with um, creation and, and invention? No, create everything that you need in life is already provided for outside the creativity and ingenuity of man. So if you look at gold, yes. you look at diamond, yes. you look at trees, even a mango itself, yes. where does it come from? From a tree. Where does a tree come from? The jungle. <laughs> so it's not man who... It's not man man. It's not man man. Yes. So all these things are created so that they are common to all men. What then becomes your purpose is to serve. If I take a mango from a tree and I put it in a supermarket, it's no longer a mango. It's now a product. It's cash in form of mango. Did you hear that? It's cash in form of mango. <laughs> so so the, the same would apply for... So if you extract gold from the ground yeah. and you refine it, yeah. and it's no longer gold. It's no longer gold. It's cash, cash in form of, of, of gold. Yeah. Fantastic. So you exchange it. I, I mustn't allow you to talk me away from uh, from um, the definition of success. That's what I'm saying. It's founded in that because the business itself. There are many people who think that human beings who are called businessmen. Wait, that doesn't exist. What exists? A human being. A human being exists? Yeah. A human being becomes a, a doctor? No, no, that's a, just a, a shield. Yeah, becomes a, yeah, it's a shield. But you don't it becomes become a doctor. doctor. No, what do you become? No, you become yourself. If you're a fool, you'll be a foolish doctor. <laughs> be careful, we have a dentist in the room. <laughs> we don't want to go away to place. <laughs> So, 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 come again. Defi definition of success. Success then will be found in it because the purpose of business is to deliver a promise. If you deliver the promise, then you are successful. So, the failed businessmen have failed to deliver a promise. Yeah. At the right price. At the right time. At the right time. How critical is the uh, timing in in business? Ups and times is not like it's nothing. Because I've heard people say success at times is the combination of, of hard work, knowledge, and being in the right place at the right time. No, yeah, you're going to be lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a crowd, somebody notices you. But you didn't plan to be noticed. But the more you plan to be noticed, the more no one notices you. <laughs> There you are, my friends, the definition of success according to Mutuma Ziva Mawere. We'll continue. Intra-African trade um, 
has become a subject uh, a lot of us are engaging in. Would I say, um, uh, Mr. Mawere, from your experience at the World Bank and, you know, as a businessman doing deals and helping and consulting, you know, across Africa, what would you say is the biggest limitation to economic growth and stability in Africa? I think it's not just in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, in the human ecosystem. Mm -hmm. If you look at human beings, the biggest uh, limitation is understanding what is required to succeed. So when you look at value and affinity, if you create a value-centric society, it will always succeed. Do you, do you want to give some examples of nations who like, are like, value-centric? Like this watch. Yes. It's a cash in form of what? In form of a product. Yes. It's not a watch. So if it's cash, if you give it up, you must get something that is satisfactory to you. That's exchange. Mm -hmm. But the moment we say in Africa the minerals are ours because we are born where the minerals are, already we've lost development. All the minerals are deposited where yeah. where we have entitlement. No, they, because they, we are we are the owners of of the land. No, the, that even idea of ownership. Because mm. imagine a lion comes to the mine mm. and knocks at the door mm. at the gate. And says, Where is my royalty? What would you do? I'll shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> but how many yeah. human beings wake up and claim? So, the moment without rule of law, there is no wealth. So, limitation to economic growth and stability. So, you yeah. now say it's the, ab the, the absence of uh, the rule of law. Yeah, that's right. Okay. What else? Yeah. And, and said, understanding. Now we said the, the biggest limitation. Mm -hmm is literacy around those simple ideas mm -hmm. you call rule of law. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? What does it mean? Yeah. Please explain. So imagine you work so hard and you buy a property. Then somebody comes and says, market. Yes. And you have nowhere to go. Yes. Like in the animal kingdom. Yes. There is no value that you can protect. You can't have a refrigerator. You can't have a car. Yes. But what makes us human is because we are able to convert God's gifts into products and solutions. And that's what becomes the development. Mm -hmm. Because an animal walks, a human being can walk. But what makes us want to fly, to get quicker, convenient? If the rule of law is taken away, you can't even store anything. You can't have a bank, you can't have a silo, you can't have a granary. You can't have a network. If you can't do anything. <laughs> you can't have clothes because the person can come with a little gun and say, You can't guard that. <laughs> you can't guard that. So yeah. the moment those nations that are closer to the animal kingdom in terms of thinking, they always be predators. It's like a crocodile, an mm. alligator, who kill you. But after that, it's fine. No, they can't. It doesn't want even to consume the world. Yes, it works out. <laughs> it works out. Yes. So the biggest limitation to economic growth and stability in Africa, number one, is the a lack of recognition of the rule of law, or yeah. embracing the rule of law. And ignorance about what matters. Ignorance about what matters. Yeah. Would you like to expand on that? You see, when we say power, and the person is with power, what do we mean? We mean the person supposedly, you know, has been elected, and because of the statutes um, that are enshrined in the constitution, that enables the given person to carry out certain duties, you know, with the legalities, you know, of the constitution. But imagine you are John Locke mm -hmm. in 1689. You are George Mason in 1776 who says all men by nature are equally free and independent. Yes. And all power, the power is by nature and the creator vested in the people and it cannot be divested from them. If you
take that understanding. Can power be given to somebody? No. No. Election, can it confer power on anyone? It can confer responsibility. No. It's just being a process, taking the paper, putting yeah. an X, independent of who benefits from that exercise. So then... No, I, it's not independent of who benefits. Yeah. <laughs> because they are given constituencies. No, and, no. and every campaign is designed... No, you vote for yourself. I vote and, for myself. Yeah, yeah, and I, I vote independent of you. Mm -hmm. So when the, election, when the votes are counted, how would you know who voted for me? We have had situations of people who come from the same bed. The wife votes for somebody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they are after the husband votes for somebody, for somebody else. else. Yeah. So power itself remains with you. What happens in representative democracies is that you are a trustee of power. Yeah. No, no, no. Power. You are, you are a message. You are somebody entrusted. Of the community. Yeah. The power the remains with the people. Yes. And you are just there to act on their behalf. But what happens is people don't actually know that they remain with their power. Even to remove you. They become even afraid of you. I guess. After, I after guess. Voting. I guess from time to time where we see uh, demonstrations taking place and uprisings you know, taking place, they then would have been a realization that the power is still invested in the people. That's right. But uh -huh. the problem is that they don't complete the job. They allow the fool to remain there. And even when the fool is naked, they actually say, they congratulate him. <laughs> they are doing an excellent job. But they are not going to go back. They vote quietly. After they vote, they abdicate. The limitation of uh, economic growth and stability in Africa, we are talking to Mutuma Zira Mawere. What do you consider to be the most um, proud moment of your career so far, and why does it stand out? I think. Uh, uh, Sometimes when you uh, look at life, you see that it's actually a random walk. And each stage, each second, uh, is pregnant with surprises. Yes. So it will be difficult to pick one moment. Try one of those. One. No, there, the must be, there must be a few, but all, kindly give us one. I think all of them are moments yes. which are... Uh, I have no relationship with the one before. Okay. So as you move, because we think that life itself can be planned, so you can then be proud of it. Mm -hmm. If you plan something and you execute it, you think you are proud, but when you look at it in totality, you actually discover that it's a series of accidents that take place. A, a, a lot of people would give anything to uh, to work for the World Bank, um, uh, regardless of the location. You were at you know headquarters in America. Who, could you share with us your decision to leave the World Bank and come to Africa, and how, when you look back, whether you think that was a good decision, a bad decision, should it yeah. have been deferred? Did so, so it come well, late or? Just saying uh, before when I went when I asked for leave of absence, yes, because I thought, look, I can go just get experience from the World Bank. Yeah, okay. I'll come back in two years and see, continue with my career. Then my then director say uh, refused to sign. The How much time were you seeking? Two years, which was no more for other people. Yes, he says I like you so much that I refuse to sign. <laughs> because if I sign... I may lose you. <laughs> no, no, you're going to come back. <laughs> because, because after then I you're sign... Then you get it. <laughs> after I sign, you know you have one day later. Yes. The next day. So you can't do anything. You're counting down. You're counting down. So life should not be about counting down. You are counting up to death. So what happened then? So he refused to sign. I understood 
why he had refused to sign. Actually, he was looking after, uh, after me. But in life, sometimes you don't see, you see a negative. When you actually, he asked me uh, two years later, I went back to visit. And he says, okay, your job is... He's <laughs> still here. He's <laughs> still here. But, <laughs> and he reminded me, if only I had signed, I would not be asking the question. So that's what life is. Mm. Yeah. Each step has its own idea in it. So you're saying it's 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 difficult to uh, to pick out and say, you know, the highlight was X or Y. Because, you're yeah. saying each each step is equally important. It's equal because it, it, they are not related steps. But they're steps. But they may be interrelated. No. The one step leads to somewhere. Because whatever steps you've taken in the past, is th is that's it. It won't relieve itself hmm. or assist you hmm. in making a decision today. What do you tell your 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 son, hmm. or your daughter? Hmm. What do you advise them about uh, when they come to you talking about careers and <clears throat> the way to to move forward? That uh, if uh, it pleases you, you have the inherent power to make a decision, to go left or right. If you want to do medicine, do medicine. Mm. But don't be buried in it and say, I'm a doctor. Mm. Because a doctor is just one mask in life. Mm. It's not the only one. You could be a doctor, you could be a football player in one. Mm. You could be also a chef mm. in one. So it's not the case that the gifts are limited to what you want to show the world. We're talking to Mutuma Ziva Mawere, paid by popular demand on Makamba on Life, Makamba Life. Tell us about the 1873 network mm -hmm. and 1873 FM. What inspired it, and how can people get involved? If at all you want people to be involved. In fact, the, the biggest problem is uh, uh, knowledge. That uh, what counts most is knowledge that is shared. So when you look at 1873, what does 1873 stand for? Kindly explain. One plus eight is nine. Seven plus three is ten. And the difference is what? Yes. So if you look at the power of one, the indivisibility of one, if you add a zero to one, you have ten. Yes. Another zero, hundred. And you can add all zeros, but once you remove zero, one, one, what remains? One. Now, if you remove one from all these zeros, a billionaire and then move that. <laughs> so a billionaire. He's <laughs> to become a zillionaire. Yes. <laughs> so the idea of unity in one, which is how do we become individual? We are diverse. And or the alternative, imagine we all thought alike. We all looked alike. Good life necessary. It, it would be uninteresting, uninteresting. I think. <laughs> so Agent 73 is about celebrating to say, let's come together. It's not owned by one individual. Otherwise, I'll call it Makamba or Mawere mm. Network. Because we are all in networks anyway. Yes. But where, where, what address do we go to to put all our networks in one? And what inspired the... That, 1873 itself. Yeah, that itself. most of the people are territorial. Mm -hmm. They want this. So my country. Are, my country. My company. My this. My, my car. My, car, my wife. My, my, my girlfriend. That's right. <laughs> but when you put all that into one, what is it? Do you see a doctor? Do you see a lawyer? Or you see a human being? Mm -hmm. Imagine you're a kid. And you are all different professions.
sick, are you a doctor to me? You're just another human being. It's only when I need something that you may possess. How do we get involved? How do people get involved? That's right. You in go to the website. Yeah, it's free. It's free. You go to the website www.1873 network.org. Then, if you are looking also to learn from others, then you build your own circle. Your own network. Your own network. Within, Within the ambit that. of the 1873. So we said, for us, I. I operate from Rivonia Boulevard. Right now we have a project in Rivonia Boulevard, which is under the Change the World campaign. That change begins with me. That if we take just one road and look at the network that is associated to the road only, mm -hmm. we are on 325, Rivonia Boulevard, mm -hmm. which means we have a network of buildings. Mm -hmm. In each building, human beings. Those who call it home, those who come in and out. If we decided, like now we decided, let's deal with one disease called financial exclusion. Let's understand industry. How many people are in the banking system and how many people are outside? Mm -hmm. Let's have a conversation about financial literacy. Let's have a conversation about power literacy. You go to your pub, they're talking about the president of the country. You go to dinner, they're talking about the president of the country. And you ask the person, who is your counselor? Mm. I don't know. Mm. Who is your... Your member of parliament. Member of parliament. They don't know. And they don't know. But I have an opinion about the president. <laughs> then you say, where were you born? I was born in Zimbabwe. Then 90% of the time I'm talking about Mugabe. Do you drink water called Mugabe? No. Why are you not talking about the things that affect you daily? You find this zero. You go to your pastor. He's ministering to the world. Forgetting that the people on the street, they also need the same message. But he is um, at the same time ministering to the people on the street as he ministers to the world. No. You have to be a community place because there are the people who need you mm -hmm. when they fall sick, mm -hmm. when they die. Mm -hmm. You don't go to a priest in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. They come and bury me here. You go to your neighbor. So how do we invest in knowing each other so that we can then say uh, the radio is just an optimizer. One day it will be Macam, the next minute it will be on the same highway. Yes. How many people use the, the same, same conveyor belt? Conveyor belt. <laughs> but how many people want to build there? Each one of us. We want to be superstars. No, I want to build my road. Going away to church. <laughs> and I build another one. Why? So the, when you look at your tombstone, and you say 1873, so one and eight is your bed. <clears throat> Seven and three is your death. And what is your real tombstone? What separates those two days? It's a one tilted what? 180 degrees. That's a high fit. May you rest in peace. May you rest in peace. <laughs>
without faith in the existence of the Creator, life is no meaning and purpose. Then the brotherhood of man transcends the sovereignty of nation. That economic freedom can best be won by free men through a market system. Faith, hope, and charity. Let us know what you think of uh, today's episode of uh, Makamba Life as we you know, spend the last hour talking to uh, Mutuma Ziva Maweri. It's always a pleasure to have you. Yeah, thank you. Would you like to say some parting words to our friends? That, uh, uh, I think the final value is that uh, the eighth greatest treasure lies in the personality of man. That without a human being, all the creatures of nature will remain in the form that they were created. There, you have it from the man himself. Join us for the next episode of Makamba Life. Thank you for joining us today. Bye. Okay. <laughs>